this. I wrote a little something about Gerard Mayo that I want to get out there into the world because I could not be more excited about him. Now, I didn't work with him on Quick Slants when I worked up in New England. I worked with Tom Curran, and I worked with Devin McCourty. Devin McCourty, who like do whatever he wants. He could run for president. He's killing it on FNIA. And now his teammate and, uh, and Super Bowl champion, uh, Gerard Mayo, uh, more than one time over, is taking over up there. And there's a lot of ins and outs to it. Um, but I'll say this, like, it's Mayo, and we're excited about that. I don't know what's going on. Somebody can tell me what's going on. I'll just keep drinking. Let's see, Devin McCourty going to host the Oscars. Him and Nate Brolson can fight for it. Um, the game I'm most looking forward to, Lions-Rams. For sure, just because it's an exciting atmosphere. Like, I'm here for all of the hoopla of that and what that might look like. Um, and, of course, for Jared Goff. And we had um, Hamilton talking about Jared Goff yesterday, so go check out uh, Twitter for that. <sighs> okay, let's do this, guys. We've got Deshaun, we've got Aaron Jones, we've got Calvin Johnson on the show. And I think we're ready to start the show. And we'll start with... Thoughts on Gerard Mayo. And thanks for you guys for subscribing. Malibu Coyote K, I don't know what that means. Hair looks amazing. I appreciate that. Is Hellman's a separate brand? I hate mayonnaise, but it's mayo. Of course it's mayo. Mayo is my least favorite condiment, but my most favorite Patriots inside linebacker ever is now the uh, head coach of the New England Patriots. No disrespect to Donta Hightower, who I also love. But I couldn't be happier about this. I have never met a person who doesn't completely adore want to talk about will stop down to tell you how much he loves and uh, or he or she loves or is completely besotted by Gerard Mayo. I'm talking about his intellect. I'm talking about his demeanor, his temperament, his grit, his winning mentality, work ethic, the Patriot way. It is all there. And it's true. It was written into and had been written into his contract that he'd be the successor to Belichick. Even so, I do want to say this. Contracts are funny. Contracts have a way of being unraveled. Promises in this business have a way of disappearing, shall I say. Be I mean, Belichick was under contract. Come on. Um, they didn't have to honor this. You know, football coaching contracts are hilarious in their way. In that way. There's buyouts, there's wording, there's all sorts of minutiae I don't want to get into. So all of this news that it was written into his contract, we're like, well, they couldn't make a different decision. Yes, are you kidding? Yes, they could have. All it showed me was that both sides, um, both Mayo, who's investing years and time and effort into this coaching business, knowing that he wanted it, the team wanted it, both were interested in this, uh, this resolution from the jump. And now, even after all of these other, candidates like amazing sexy names like booby trap lure like bait like guys like harbaugh vrabel saban epic names could you have gotten carol interest like the organization thinks so highly of gerard mayo that no funny business ensued well some funny business there were some jealous coaches i know the names i won't spill them in that building starting some drama for sure but it didn't work and robert Kraft has his man listen to me listen to me do not underestimate what stability means to this organization at this point in time. Do not underestimate comfort. I talked about that a lot yesterday. X's and O's are there. He's a leader. That's there. They need some level-headedness here. He does not have a wild card temperament. He is not a hot head. That's something that Gerard has other, over other candidates that were being mentioned. It matters because trust matters in such a transition. Relationships are all that matter to Robert Kraft, as you saw with him and Bill Belichick just yesterday. It's all that matters. And so this is a great one and one that everybody in New England should be embracing, excited about, ready to support, and ready to give a little patience to, okay, in what is going to be a big task and a big thing on the plate of mayo. Um, I do want to share, and I think the questions are, are fair because it's it's – unorthodox to take somebody who has not been a defensive or offensive coordinator. It's a, little, it's a little funky. It's a little weird. And he does have a lack of experience there with that label. But I do want to credit just a fan on Twitter, Doug Russell, who's a sports director at 97.3 The Game in Milwaukee, for hitting me with this gem yesterday. And I did not I actually didn't know this. I'm sure everybody knew this. I didn't. Uh, a guy by the name of Andy Reid, heard of him? Uh, he was an assistant up in Green Bay for seven seasons. I knew that. Coached the O-line. I knew that. Tight ends and quarterbacks. But he did not have coordinator experience. I did not know that. 
And what did he do? I don't know nothing. Just went on to be one of the greatest coaches to ever live, with patience, by the way. Philly to Kansas City, with patience. So with it being written in Mayo's contract and them all having this sort of, you don't think he was like soaking up everything, taking notes, osmosis? Figuring everything out with Bill, with like, with the organization, all of that. We act like, also, we act like there's no strikeout rate at all when it comes to great coordinators being head coaches. Like, it always works out great, question mark. Not to say names, Josh McDaniel is just one of them. Case in point, like, we've seen guys excellent, brilliant at the coordinator level not work out as head coaches a lot. It's a crapshoot. And so, the smart ones, in my opinion, bet on people. We've heard it from Hall of Famers. Howie Long, future Hall of Famer, Rob Gronkowski, every like legit legend that we've had on the show. Being a great head coach is about being able to get in front of the room and lead and command respect and be level-headed in a certain way. And from everything everybody's ever said and anybody who's ever been around him, that is Gerard. So congrats to him and uh, long live the king.